So for the perfect rice in the Philips all-in-one cooker, it's really, really simple. You'll get this recipe book with the machine and on page 19, there's actually a recipe for regular white rice. Now it says add two cups of rice and the corresponding amount of water. So what that means is we need to take the lid off and in the inner pot, we've got some measurements, some incremental measurements. And you'll see that you've got the maximum capacity, which is six litres. You've then got a rice measurement and you've got a water measurement. And the water measurement is corresponding to the rice measurement. So fill up how much, however much rice you need and then go to the measurement just above it, which is the water measurement and pop the lid on, hit the rice cooking button and it will be cooked beautifully. So just to show you how easy it is, you can either use a cup measurer or you can pour straight into that inner pot. I'm going to pour straight in for that two cup capacity. I'm going to get my water and filter the corresponding water increment measurer. So that should be just half a measurement above. So we pop the lid on and we're going to scroll through the pressure cook functions till we hit the rice setting, which is a 14 minute setting. All I need to do is press the start button and along this running timeline, it will show us exactly where we're at in the cooking process. So, starts heating, it starts pressure. Once pressure has been maintained, the 14 minutes will come here on the screen and it will count back. So it will automatically turn itself off safely when cooking has finished and then go into keeping warm mode. So we're not going to overcook, we're not going to burn, we're not going to cause any danger you know, by overusing the appliance. It will sit at a lovely temperature at keeping warm and you can leave it there as long as you like. So once the rice has finished cooking, it will automatically go into keeping warm mode. Now, the, the steam and the pressure buildup will naturally dissipate over time, but that will probably take about 10 minutes. So what that means is it slowly and quietly is released so that you can open up the lid safely. Now, if you need to get to that rice before it's dissipated, you'll need to twist the, the little dial here down to vent. And what that will do is you'll get a steady stream of all that pressure and steam to be released so that we can go ahead and open up the lid. So all of the steam's been dissipated naturally there, nothing came through and the rice looks just beautiful. So you should be able to run a fork through that and it should seem somewhat dry, which means that it's been cooked perfectly. And once that's happened, you'll be able to serve it and enjoy it exactly how it should be.